Mark and Samantha, good morning. A tough loss for the Catholic community this morning. Pope Francis asked for prayers just days ago for his predecessor, and a special mass was held in Benedict's honor yesterday with Benedict participating from his own room. It's not just his papacy, but the way it ended, defining Pope Benedict the 16th's legacy. In February 2013, Benedict became the first pope in 600 years to resign. Renunciare ita da die. He cited his advanced age and failing health. Stepping aside as Pope Francis was elected and Benedict became the first Pope Emeritus in modern history, living out his final years in a former monastery on the Vatican grounds, at times joining Pope Francis at major church events. He was born in Germany in 1927 as Joseph Ratzinger. Shortly after he turned 14, he, like most young Germans at the time, was forced to join the Hitler Youth, but he was not a willing participant. When he returned to Germany as pontiff, he became only the second pope in history to visit a synagogue. He was elected pontiff on April 19, 2005, to fill the vacancy left by Pope John Paul II. He chose the name Benedict XVI. He had been known as God's Rottweiler, an unyielding conservative and guardian of traditional Catholic values. But he soon surprised his skeptics, showing his gentler side. Benedict never veered far from his conservative beliefs. He condemned gay marriage, the ordination of women, and allowing priests to marry. He also addressed the sex abuse crisis within the Catholic Church, meeting privately with victims of pedophile priests during his trip to the U.S. in 2008. No words of mine could describe the pain and harm inflicted by such abuse. But some say that scandal, the Pope seemed unable to put to rest, eventually played a role in his resignation, his retirement shaking up the Vatican, securing his place in history. And Mark and Samantha, the Vatican says Pope Benedict will lie in state at St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican, but as of this morning, no other details have been announced. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.